Hello guys. Southeast traditional rulers have called President Bola Meitunubu led Nigerian government to release Mazen Namdekano as well as Igbo youth from Abia states, from Afaruko. Okay, these, these are people from uh, Mazen Namdekano's community. They said this is no longer unacceptable, you know, uh, the way the federal government of Nigeria is treating Mazen Namdekano. And they have vowed to do everything possible to make sure that Namdekano is released from the DSS custody. They also asked the Igbo leaders, the, the Igbo senators, the, the Southeast governors, you know, to be up and doing concerning this Mazen Namdekano's detention. Uh, talking about his health deteriorating in the DSS custody is not a good news at all. So they have said that they will keep on pressuring the, the Nigerian government to release Mazen Namdekan. According to Eda Okafo Njideka, he said, the government of Nigeria should understand that the same punishment being meted to Mazen Namdekano is the same punishment being meted to us in the Southeast over here. Mazen Namdekano's detention is causing us a lot of pains down here. But I don't even know why the federal government of Nigeria have decided to keep our son you know, in the DSS custody. Namdekano have not committed any crime. He is just looking after his people for his people. Keep on keeping him in the DSS custody will not solve the problem on ground. Nothing must happen to our son in the DSS custody. We also use this opportunity to call up or to call on the Southeast governors. It's not just Okay, it's not just asking the government to release Mazen Namdekano and you go to your various states. Okay, they said, um, he said uh, the Southeast governors should not just sit down in their various states. You know, oh, we have asked for Mazen Namdekano's release and just keep quiet about it. There is more to do. If you sit down, the government will still sit down and pull for the matter. And what they are saying is really very correct. Okay, so one of the the youth leaders, Mr. Michael Obiago, okay, he has said that uh, they are concerned is Mazen Namdekano's health because if anything happens to Mazen Namdekano in DSS custody, this country will not contain everybody. So that is the reason why, for the sake of peace in Nigeria, and in the southeast, the government should, you know, release their brother, IPOB leader, Mazen Namdekano. Well, you know, say so that they talk, say, the words of men are the words of uh, God. Uh, this Mazen Namdekano issue is really taking another dimension. I don't really understand what is the plan of the Nigerian government, because right now, even the trial, I'm always saying this thing. His trial is like they are just playing with him. He will fix uh, a day, he will fix a date today to try him. Then after four months before you now you will not appear again in court. It's not making sense. So all these things is just punishment. You understand? And it's not just that they are punishing Mazanam the Kano. It's punishment. Also, the punishment, the punishment is also hitting the Southeasterners, you get. So the government should listen to people. People don't make threats. People don't beg. People don't, in fact, don't cry. There is nothing they have not told the government of Nigeria so that the IPOB leader can be released. And there is only the government of Nigeria sees Mazenam the Kano as a problem. Now they know what then they do. You understand? If he's released... So now the question is, since he was kidnapped since uh, 2021, is there peace in Nigeria? That is what we should be asking ourselves. You see, this man has a problem to you. If you release him, while well, I go boss, this, this, and that. This man has been in detention since uh, how many years now? Going to four years now. Now, you have never had peace in Nigeria. So, he no stop banditry. He no stop Boko Haram. He no stop 
inflation in Nigeria. It don't stop poverty. It don't stop hunger. So Kano is not even the problem of Nigeria. He's a victim too, as well, because he is agitating, you know, for the good of his people. You understand? Just like what they are saying, Mazenam the Kano's health is not in a nice shape, according to his lawyer. He said the health of Mazenam the Kano has deteriorated. And this is after Nigerians Department of State Service, DSS, refused a request to transfer him to a specialist hospital. Now they cannot get heart issues. You get saying so this matter when they grant. Now I can develop that one. Now they said they not allow the doctors, you know, when they take care of him, to really have full examination of him and all that. And uh, the DSS say until the court, you know, allow them to release Mazinam to go to go to hospital, that is only when they will allow that. So the doctor who is handling Mazinam the Kanu's case say this is really very delicate because Mazinam the Kanu's condition now is really, really very delicate. He needed to monitor him out from not that DSS uh, uh, facility, at least out from there in his clinic for two weeks. We even they see these things happen. When we say you day jail or you day wherever the person they sick, then they carry them they go hospital. But after they go assign a policeman, you know, they in the hospital. And why they why do they even think that this man is going to escape? He is a man of his words. Why will he even reduce himself to that level? Say because he won't go hospital, he won't from there run come out. How? Well, Nigerians. Nigerian government should consider this Mazen Namdekanu's case and uh, release him. You understand? Because this matter is really uh, getting out of hand. Make we judge the one when we the judge. The, the traditional leaders, you know, have said they will keep on pressuring the government and uh, the Southeast governors and the senators so that they will not just say release Mazen Namdekanu and seek down. As you say, release him, you have to, you know, really follow up. So the government will release him. So guys, at the drop out here, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg, drop, uh, share this video, let it go viral. I beg.